Atheline here. Oh god, I'm so pissed. I'm so fucking pissed. <laughs> Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Yep, you all saw the title. You all know what's coming. So let's get this out of the way now, shall we? I'm a PS3 boy. I was a PlayStation kid growing up. PlayStation 3 has always been my console. And you know what? I'm suffering for it now. A couple months ago, a new DLC for Skyrim, in my opinion, one of the best RPGs ever. I am not taking into account any RPGs that came out before, two th before the year 2000. Simply because I don't want to offend any hardcore nerds or geeks. We're all friends here, guys. Okay? But yeah, Dawn Guard. It was announced. The trailer was badass. You had vampire lords. You had crossbows. You had legendary dragons. You didn't know it at the time, but there were there were dragon weapons like the dragon bone sword and the dragon war axe and stuff. And what can I say? For a game as badass as Skyrim. The DLC looked equally badass, if not more. And guess what? If you had an Xbox, you got it 30 days before anybody else. Fucking Xbox. Fucking Microsoft. I wanted to make this video a while ago. In fact, this was intended to be my first video. However, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to offend any Xbox owner, so... Well, that ship is sailed. I don't give a fuck at this point now because I'm tired of waiting. Whoever said patience was a virtue is an asshole. And a shithead. Probably never had to wait for anything in his life. But anyways, the point is, is that... God, this makes me pissed! Okay, here's the point I'm trying to make. <sighs> I have nothing against the Xbox, personally. I think it's a fine system. I have friends who own it, and they all say that they love playing it. But... What I hate is Microsoft's way of business. I hate the exclusive deals that they make. I just... Okay, for example, this is one of... I, th I think this is one of the more common examples. The deal they made with Eidos for Tomb Raider Underworld, that they basically get two DLCs that will never come out on the PS3 that you can only play if you had an Xbox. Why? Why do you... Why? Why would... Edos... Why would you make that deal? Why would you deprive... The, your PS3 audience of DLCs? Okay, I'm not gonna go in too deep into that. I... Despite how I'm appearing to be, I don't want to look like a Sony fanboy. Oh, and then there's Bioware and Mass Effect. Okay. Now, I know that Mass Effect was intended for the PC, was intended for the Xbox, and then Mass Effect 2 and 3 sh ideally wouldn't have been on the PS3 and would have always been on the Xbox or the PC. Uh, yeah, fuck that shit. Why is Mass Effect 1 still only on the Xbox or the PC? Why isn't it on the PS3 by now? I mean... <sighs> Bioware, do you know how much money you would make if you put Mass Effect 1 on the PS3? Do you? You'd make quite a bit of money, and that seems... Since you're working for EA now, that seems like the only thing you care about now. Oh, and then there's this. The whole Xbox gets Dawn Guard 30 days before anybody else. What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? 
No, really, what kind of bullshit is that? So you're saying that while the rest of us are sitting in our rooms playing Skyrim, wishing we could turn into vampire lords and wield crossbows and shit, there are people with Xbox who can do it 30 days ahead of us? What kind of bullshit is that? Fuck! This, this makes me so incredibly angry. I fucking hate business practices like this. I just fucking hate them so much. Because, believe it or not, I believe I know why Microsoft does shit like this. Now, you can defend this if you want. This is an opinion, after all, but this is just... Something that only took me about three minutes to figure out. I'm pretty sure I'm right about this. But this is what I think. Microsoft makes these exclusive deals basically to say that if you want to play this exclusive content, then you need to buy an Xbox or a PC. Because either way, they'll make money. The most common... See, the most common thing about PC, Microsoft owns Windows. Own... Okay, I'm sorry, I don't really know that much about it, so I'm gonna stay... I'm staying out of PC territory, but Xbox... Basically, if you want to play these new DLCs for Tomb Raider Underworld, you have to buy an Xbox to play them. You want to play Mass Effect 1? You need to buy an Xbox to play them. You want to play Dawn Guard? Well, for now, you're gonna have to play... A, you're gonna have to get a fucking Xbox to play Dawn Guard! Now... You could argue and say that, well, Dawn Guard's out for the PC already, and it's probably, it's probably going to come out for the PS3. Well, you know what? I wonder. I really wonder. There is no release date for Dawn Guard at all. There is no mention of it at all. So, for those of us with PS3s, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Are we just supposed to go out and buy an Xbox to play... Oh my god, I'm so sorry I got off topic there. Okay. I'm so sorry, this is just... This pisses me off so much. This this almost brings me to the level of rage I had in my last Airbender rant. I'm dead serious. Oh my god. I swear to god, as, as, as this show goes along, I feel like I'm starting to lose my fucking mind. Oh my god. Okay. What I was saying was, is that this seems like a scam by Microsoft. To basically to say, if you want to play this exclusive content, you have to get the Xbox. Okay, that's out of the way. I'm Now I know for a fact I said it. But here's the thing. And like I said, if you... For those of us with PS3s, we have to suffer. Big time. And that's just bullshit. Now, I'm sure that this was, was never meant to be made on the PS3. I understand all of that. So I can understand that it must be difficult for Bethesda to make... Well, this game, and to make a DLC for it. In fact, what was it that Morden said in Mass Effect 2 that that um, working within confine, working within confines increases? Di yeah, okay. So, I'm sure making a DLC for this game on the PS3 cannot be easy, and it's actually much, much more difficult than making the game itself. But here's the thing: why don't you just release all three of them at the same time when? It's ready for the PS3. Why should Microsoft get it first? Why should those of us with PS3s who don't have the money to throw around to buy a fucking Xbox or to buy a PC in case our own PC, the one we use normally, can't play games for shit? Why do we have to suffer and watch other people playing this DLC before us? That's not fair! I don't want to watch some asshole on YouTube playing playing Dawn Guard before I do, doing all the shit I want to do. I want to do it myself. Fuck you, Microsoft and Bethesda. Just fuck you. Make sure, now, if you'll excuse me, I'm I'm just gonna go play Skyrim for a bit and just find. God, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna walk right into. I'm going to walk right into Rourke's dead. And you know that that asshole farmer who talks to his little girls like shit? Yeah, I'm going to walk right up to him and call Oda Vang down on his ass. Have a great night, everyone. God knows I won't when I'm yelling at the fucking TV